So, I have a problem. My goats. Yeah, yeah, I know some of you are like, goats, that says it all. Goats are your problem. Because people either have a love or hate relationship towards goats. And we actually really, really like having our goats. They're great for browsing and foraging and cleaning up brush and wooded areas. And their meat is pretty good too. Even though we don't raise them for meat here quite yet, their meat is pretty good. I'm just kind of thinking of some Jamaican dishes. Mmm, some goat. Yummy. And one of the main reasons that I brought goats onto our homestead was to have a source of milk for my family. We don't have huge wide open pastures where we could have dairy cows like some of our homestead friends. We don't have that. Our property is it's, there's, it's pretty wooded. So goats I thought would be a great option to bring on for us to be able to have that source of milk but also have them areas that they can actually live and function in. And then people tend not like goats because, hey, some people think they have devil eyes. And one problem that most people have with goats, and we've had it too, is that they can be master escape artists. Oh man, they're definitely in the wrong spot. Come on. Go that way. Get out of that way. And there's a number of good reasons of why you don't want your goats just escaping and going anywhere and everywhere because they could just get out and start eating up your vegetables and your fruit trees and things like that before you can even eat on them. Also, you don't want to come outside and see your goat all over your car. And that wouldn't be good, leaving hoof prints and little dents and dings in it. That wouldn't be fun. And you wouldn't want your neighbors your goat's heading over to your neighbor's house and eating some, all of their different ornamental plants and rose bushes and things like that. That wouldn't be good. So one of the number one things that we have done here to hinder our goats from, or discourage our goats from escaping is by installing this 68 inch electrified netting from Premier One. It has worked out great. They haven't really tried to escape at all from it. And if they do, they get a little buzz, but it's high enough that they're just not thinking about jumping right over it. However, I do have a problem. I did mention that earlier, that I have a problem, and I do. Actually, I probably have more than one problem, but in this case, the problem that I have is that I want our goats to be able to graze in other areas around our property, but not escape and do some of those other things that I just mentioned. So what are we gonna do about that? Well, I'd like to get some more of this fencing, but it's all sold out. So what am I gonna do? I actually have a plan. And that plan involves not moving this because I wanna keep this fence here because this is where my daughter, she comes and milks the goats and uh, we wanna have like a home base here. So what are we gonna do? Let's do something about it. A new place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. So y'all done milking? Yep. All right, well, let's take it for a walk. Nothing to hold me back. Take our time. Just enjoy the ride. Woo! Excuse you. I know man passing by. Life is good. Best I've ever felt. Ah! Get me up. So in it. So in it. Can't find myself. I'm 
Now I know this tie out stake is intended for dog use, but you can use it for goats too. And one of the problems that people have when they're leashing their animals is, whether it be dogs, or goats, is that they can get tangled up and wrap themselves all in and goats will even known for hanging themselves on it. But we have a solution for that. This PVC pipe here. A little too long, let's cut it in half. Thanks. Down that way, go that way. Yep. 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 Got it. You did it. <laughs> That's good. All right, let's connect her. So she's able to move around where we want her to go, but not where we don't want her to go. Also the PVC pipe here, should keep her from getting all tangled up and wrapped in the rope there. I'm not sure if she'll get caught up on the wire or not, but it is a lot harder to get tied up in the wire than it is the rope. We're just gonna have to watch it and see. If we do find her getting tangled up a little bit, we'll just do PVC pipe all the way down. And if you put cuts in it, actually put two pieces here, she can still move around and there's some flexibility, more flexibility in it. So I'm gonna knock out some other chores while I'm keeping an eye on her, but let her graze here and heat some of this stuff up. Not too long ago, sadly, we lost 30 meat birds. But thankfully, the rest of the flock here is doing very, very well. And each day, I move them on the fresh grass and provide them with a special feed to help them grow. And since our first goat on the stakeout, Libby here, was doing really well, we decided to add a second goat, Cody.
And in here we have some babies. Chicks and some poles. And around the time that we lost the meat chickens, we also lost a number of turkeys. But thankfully this new batch that we have here is doing absolutely amazing. So after knocking out my chores and other farm work, I took some time to just look out the window, keep an eye on the goats to see how they did on their stakeouts. And they did great. It was like I was on a stakeout as they were on a stakeout. Oh, anyways, <laughs> they did great. Later on, we took the goats and put them back in their primary area and gave them some of the Redmond garlic salt, which they love, by the way. The minerals in the garlic are really good for them. And the garlic is also good for them as well to keep flies and other insects away from them. And I'm really glad that Redmond has an agricultural line now. I'm really excited about that. And if you want some more information on that, you can check out the show notes below. And it would be really, really nice if our goats would just stay where we wanted them to stay without the stakeouts. But these are some diva goats, especially our dairy ones, so have to go to some extra measures. Besides, this setup here with using a stakeout, it could be a really affordable way to kind of force or guide your goats to graze exactly where you want them to be because I really wanted these areas to be grazed because my plan is for the goats to graze out the high things and then to bring in the chickens to get the low things and both animals just add good fertilizer from their manure into the soil and then we'll work with that and it'll just really enrich the soil and things will just grow more. Everyone should be happier if they stay where they're supposed to stay. Another thing that you could add to a system like this would be agroplastic hutches. Those were like for dairy calves that would be great for a shelter for the goats to go in if that's where you wanted them to be for like overnight things like that that way they could go in out of the rain because goats do not like rain and that would just be a nice little shelter for them to have so that might be something an idea for somebody as well so I'm in this experimental phase I think I'm kind of always in experimental phase but right now we're experimenting a lot with our animals this year and have a lot of ideas and things that we want to try out so you'll just have to stay tuned to see how all these wacky ideas up here go 